What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. Today, I still have clean dishes in the sink. We're back in my kitchen and we're talking about the Narwhal fountain pen. This is the first Narwhal I have ever owned. I paid for this with my own money. Uh, it was $45 US. Um, which roughly works out to about $55 uh, Canadian. I actually bought this from the Desk Bandit, so technically um, it was Australian dollars that I paid in, but it worked out pretty much all the same. Um, the reason why I picked this up from the Desk Bandit was just because I was getting a bunch of other samples um, from them of Troublemaker inks, and Troublemaker inks caused some trouble trying to find them. <laughs> so I picked it up from the Desk Bandit, uh, which is the first time I've ever shopped there. Um, and so far so good. So there you go. Um, I did an unboxing if you want to see some of the other stuff that I got and the box that this came in. But this is the Narwhal fountain pen. This is the or Narwhal original fountain pen in Poseidon blue. Um, there are many other different variations that you can get. This is the one that I have. Uh, and the material is beautiful. Um, it's got some very like chatoyancy spots um, that are nice and shimmery. The little ripples that you see uh, have really nice depth to them. Uh, and for something that's $45, again, US, 55 Canadian. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, it's a piston fill, uh, which also for that price point, awesome. It does come with a little wrench, um, very much like Twisby's do. Um, I feel like and I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're uh, competing with Twisby in that sense, um, with the reasonable price point, the piston, and the fact that you can take it apart. Um, and to be honest, I like it more than Twisby's. <laughs> I think it's really well built. Um, Twisby does have a, a, a bit of a heftier feel than this. This is a very light pen. Um, but I like it a lot. There's the shiny finial at the top, uh, silver clip that's pretty uh, tension filled, which is nice. Um, simple band uh, that just says Narwhal on both sides, nothing too fancy. Um, let's see how many turns. So we get one, two, two and like a hair um, to un uncap it. Um, fits nicely in my hand. Again, it's, it's very, very light. You do not want to post this pen. It does not post very deeply. Um, it doesn't make it past the piston knob on the end and it becomes very back weighted if you do that. Um, but it's a very long pen. So I don't think that most people will want to post it. Um, the nib, uh, I don't know. It doesn't specify anywhere whether it's Bach or Yovo, uh, but it has a very beautiful design on it with the narwhal. You won't be able to see it here, but with the narwhal in the middle, um, based on the look of it, it looks like a Yovo nib, but don't hold me on that because I don't ultimately know. Um, but either way, spoiler, it writes really well, <laughs> um, which you'll see coming up. The threads are all the plastic as well. Um, they're super, super shallow, so you don't feel them. The very back of my thumb does rest on the threads, but the grip section is pretty large, so you shouldn't really have an issue with that. And it does flare out a little bit to stop it from slipping, but the material, um, the resin that it's made out of is not slippery at all. Um, now, granted, I don't have the world's oiliest hands. In fact, my hands tend to run on the dry side, um, especially with all of the hand washing and sanitizing that I do at work. Uh, my hands are drier than ever. So uh, it fits really, really nicely in my hand. I'm very pleased with this pen. Um, there's nothing really that I greatly dislike about it. Um, I think if I had to make like one gripe, um, really, then it's just that it's, it's very cap heavy. Um, so when it's like capped, <laughs> um, it's, it's very heavy. Most of the weight is in the cap. Um, I would say holding it like this, the cap is, is heavier than the pen. Um, and it's probably just because the metal that's all around here, whereas there's virtually no metal on the inside. Um, I can't really see the ink. There is no ink window. Um, if I hold it up to the light and get a specific 
view then I can see a little bit on the inside um, but it has to be backlit and I can't see 100% on the inside I just get little little sneak peeks enough to know that I have roughly half of a filling left of ink <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure uh, all of the parts on the inside are plastic as well um, I'm pretty sure there's no metal in the pen but again it doesn't specify anywhere so I'm not 100% positive, but based on my experience and feel, that's what I'm gonna guess. Um, so I really like this pen. Um, I kind of went into it with little to no expectations. I've heard of the brand for a little while, um, but it just never really made it into my cart. Um, There's always pens that I wanted to get before the Narwhal. Um, and the main reason why I did it was, like I said, it was because I was placing the order from Desk Bandit and it seemed silly to pay for shipping and stuff like that just for ink. Um, so I thought I would throw this in there and I'm glad that I did. Um, I like it actually quite a bit. Uh, it writes really well. Like I said, there's nothing that like stands out to me as like, I hate it. It's a little bit on the large side. I mean, I don't have any pens around me. Um, like this is a Caveco Sport. And obviously it's quite big. Uh, um, not many people will have one of these, but this is the Wancher Seven Treasures uh, and it's almost the same size. Uh, this is a quite a large pen. This is like way more expensive. Uh, there will be a review coming very shortly. In fact, I'm gonna film it probably, probably right after this one. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this pen. Um, don't really have, like I said, anything bad to say about it. Um, for the price point, I think it's completely reasonable. And yeah, I, I, I wouldn't sing songs about it. It, it. It's not like, oh my God, this is the best pen. You have to have it. If you don't have it, you're missing out. Um, but there's certainly nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm pleased with it. And that about sums it up. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, show you how this bad boy writes. Okay, so we got the typical line, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, this is <coughs> a sneeze. My allergies are really bad today. Um, this is the Narwhal Steel Fountain Pen. Um, and I, it says that it's a medium nib, but it is definitely more on the broad side. Um, the ink is Robert Oster. Soda pop blue. Oops. And this is a beautiful ink and very wet. Um, that patch doesn't really look like it. This is a, a very wet nib, um, which I very much like. And it's very, very smooth, uh, which I also very much like. Uh, and with reverse writing, I think because it is so wet, um, it, it keeps going almost indefinitely. Um, I would say you could get to an extra fine. This, like I said, it says medium. It's more on the broad side. I wouldn't say it's a true broad, but it is certainly a broad medium. <clears throat> Again, <clears throat> apologies. Allergies are wicked. Uh, you should see my eyes right now. <laughs> um, I haven't ever had a problem with this pen. Um, I did have one hard start once, but I had stored the pen like this. Um, and it was like that for quite some time. So obviously like the, all the ink kind of drained out, um, but oh, there you go. Apparently <laughs> if you hold it like this for a while, it'll, uh, it'll do that. Um, but for the vast majority of the time, never really had any issues uh, it's a pretty stiff steel nib, so no line variation really, just slightly more ink comes out. Um, but all in all, wow, I did it again. Seriously, it's it's the law of these videos. <laughs> I can write like 12 pages, 13 pages of a journal entry and not have a single one, but I turn on the camera and boom. It's just hilarious, but you know what? It's real life. Uh, for the vast majority of the time then, other than apparently now. <laughs> Uh, this has been pretty problem-free. 
Um, so I like it. I would recommend it. Um, there's obviously tons and tons of different finishes that you could get, um, but whatever floats your boat. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it but haven't done so already, do hit the like and subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always, if you're still watching, if you're still here, if you're still part of the Pens and Tea family, you are the reason I make these videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.